What is up ladies and gentlemen, Steph here with a brand new show for Freedom. This show is called Staff Shorts. And what's the concept behind it? The concept behind it is instead of doing big long form shows, this is going to be shorter shows between two and four minutes to bring you quick announcements and updates. And as you can see, we're not using the green screen or anything like that for this because this is very short, sharp updates. So this is my office, which you might not have seen before, where I'm currently recording this from. So what's today's subject for staff shorts? So today we're going to talk about a game called Tanky X, which you can see behind me. So this is currently in closed beta and is available in our GG system. I'm sure most of you know what the GG system is, but for those that don't, let me give you a quick summary. GG is a place you guys can visit, any partner can visit, and claim free game codes to make videos around. So you visit this page here within your dashboard, you click here to claim your key, then you click down here to submit your video, and that's all you've got to do in return, send us a video. So let's talk a bit more about Tanky X. What is Tanky X? Tanky X in some ways is very similar to World of Tanks. It's sort of an arena shooter, but while World of Tanks focuses on historical accuracy, Tanky X has gone a bit more for the fantasy. So you'll see things like flame turrets, lightning turrets, sniper turrets, all sorts of different stuff. So what is one of the great things about Tanky X? Basically, you can customize your tank down to the minutest detail. So if you want to go for something big and bulking with heavy, heavy armor, you can do that, but your tank's going to move slightly slower. If you want to go for something really fast that can run around and snipe off cliffs and stuff down at the enemy, then you want to build a really lightly armored tank, but it has its con, it will blow up a lot easier. So Tanky X really lets you define what sort of playstyle you wish to have with your tank, which I really like. For me, World of Tanks was good for its historical accuracy, but I far prefer Tanky X just because I can make the tank run how I want it to run, which is really cool. So this game is currently in closed beta, as been said, and what does this mean for you guys? Why is this a massive advantage for you guys? Basically, while a game is in closed beta, it's got a very small pool of content creators to work around it. This means basically that there will be less videos on YouTube and when there's less videos on YouTube around a subject, the search pool becomes smaller. So you guys are a lot more likely to rank very high in search for a game in closed beta than a game that's massive and everybody is playing. So bear that in mind, my recommendation to you guys would be to go to Get Games, pick up a code for this game, download it, play a few rounds, and then get a video out as soon as possible. Because if you can get a video out before this game goes into open play, then you are gonna rank fairly high in search. And aside from that, there will be a large volume of people looking for information on this game currently because it's not out. And we all like to know what's happening in the gaming world, right? So that's it for Tanky X for today. Let's close on a little news article. I want to bring you trending topics at the end of each of these videos. So this one's going to be slightly longer because of explanations. So let's see what our trending topic is for today. So our trending subject today is around Battlefield 1, who has today announced the price of their server hosting. So in case you don't know, Battlefield 1, you will not be able to have a private server hosted with somebody like VI Layer for this game. And DICE have decided to do this because they say it leads to a more even playing field, people know what to expect and they can ensure that every server performs exactly the same, which is good and bad at the same time. So let's talk about the pricing for Battlefield 1 servers. So if you are a PC player, you're going to get charged slightly more for Battlefield 1. We're talking $2.99 for one day's rental up to $150 for 180 days rental. What do you guys think? Is that a very, very high price? To me, that's a significant amount considering how much things like ARC cost me a month. And then we have separate pricing for the PS3 and Xbox One, which comes in at $2 for one day's rental up to $100 for 180 days rental. 
which I don't think is as bad. That about even out, evens out with how much I pay for my Arc server. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below whether you think these are outrageous prices, whether you'll be getting a server, whether you like the idea that DICE will be taking full control of external servers and disallowing private servers. Let me know. Uh, you can either hit me up on Twitter at stefman1234 to share your opinions or we can have a discussion down there. So this is the end of this episode of Staff Shorts and I will catch you guys in the next one.